<laughs> hey, man, are you trying to get me to speak Spanish? Good luck. <laughs> I was going to ask you, aren't we going to do a language activation at some point so that we could pick up languages, foreign languages? I did that. You oh, did? I mean, yeah, I did it on myself. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I still suck. I, I, I don't could have use, of it. I could use it. <laughs> I need to pick up German. I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> You're so good. Hi, Sarah. Right. Uh, the masters have shown up. Is that a... Uh, mm. Are we just five people? No more than that signed up, but you know, you guys, I'll have like 35 people on a call and I'll have like a hundred people sign up. Right. Okay. So not everybody that um, mm. signs up shows up. They do the replays, you know, so okay. we're not supposed to start for a couple more minutes. So I'm going to wait yeah. <laughs> a little bit. I don't know why I'm recording, but I am. So can you hear me, Tamara? I can hear you, sweetheart. Hi. Yes. Great. Good morning. Good morning. Good How are you? Good. Good. Excited Good. about today. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. I had, I went, I went silent for 48 hours. Great. And, um, I had a dream where I was levitating and flying right back and forth, up and down. It was really cool. Yeah. And then I, um, I, I had a hysterectomy 24 years ago and in a dream I was putting an ovary in myself and I woke up going, no, as they were putting the in. <laughs> I didn't want to say no babies. But I'm like, no, I woke up going, no. <laughs> I said, like, okay, wait a minute. The ovary can stay to produce the hormones. I'm fine with that, but no fucking womb. But it's like, wait right. a minute. you're almost 58. You're not going to have periods. <laughs> Huge fear came over me. I freaked oh my out. Gosh. Too funny. Yeah, and then I was changing the water molecules, and I was using some some scientific little thing because there's a lot of overgrowth of um, of um, oh, what do you call it? Whatever. And so I was changing the water molecules so it stopped. You know. <laughs> and then I saw labels in boxes. It's because I'm not interested. We're going to do that today being boxed in just as, who are you? Yeah. You know, and people go, oh, I'm Christian or I'm spiritual. Yeah. And when you put yourself in a box, you start running those programs of what it means to be one or right. the other or whatever it is. I'm not interested in being labeled or boxed. Yeah. I am Tamara, that's who I am. <laughs> I do what I want when I want. <laughs> And what else did I go to? Oh, and then I woke up last night with the song, The Doors, Break On Through to the Other Side. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> and it's all been about going above that matrix and changing things in that. Oh, you know what I mean? And not being in that matrix. Okay. And, um, and then another one was I woke up, um, I was making out with um, Mick Jagger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, no. I, and then afterwards i'm all hey i've got five published books so here i was trying to make myself worthy to be with him right you know what i mean i went okay i gotta work yeah. on my worthy issues because mm. i go below myself you know was it and was it I make jagger the way he is now or the way he used to be I don't know, but it was some really hot freaking kissing, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, and it's about being at that level, you know what I mean? And being able to be at that level. So it's really cool. So I'm really excited to um, just create a bunch of belief systems. Because, you know, we believe in gravity. Yes. Because the tree falls, the apple falls from the tree, you know. But, you know, hundreds of years ago, people were flying around. They were levitating. Trees could get up and walk and move. People could walk on water. Because the collective consciousness belief system um, wasn't there. And now it's here. 
So people are believing that um, you can't walk on water. You, a tree can't move. You can't fly. You know, that you believe in gravity. You know, you believe in aging and what you're supposed to look like at what age. You know, I, I'm ready to be ageless. I'm Me over too. this aging bullshit, man. You know, I did the age reversal class, and that's changed me a lot. Yeah. And now I'm ready to totally let go of the beliefs. I mean, you know, age reversal, forget age reversal. How about ageless? You know, just complete and total ageless. You know, I walk around in a two-piece bikini. And last week, I met some guy on the beach. <laughs> on Thursday, and I met him again on Friday and on Saturday, um, he invited me out to dinner and went out to dinner with him. Wow. Uh, Sunday, we hung out and went to some cenotes and a really cool beach. And then I went over to his place and we barbecued. And then Monday, he left, you know, to go back to Colorado. Um, it's like, hell yeah, I feel good about myself. You know, I'm still a little chunky, not too bad. <laughs> I'm getting there, but you know what? I felt really good about myself. I wasn't embarrassed taking off my clothes and walking around in my bathing suit. And for my whole life, I was. You know, I still have saggy arms. I'm working on it. I'm doing water aerobics every day to tighten it up because I dropped like 50 pounds yeah. in a year. And really, it was like in three months. And then, wow. you know, maintaining that. So now it's getting back into that shape. But you know, I'm ageless, so it's just going to keep changing more and more and more. I know it is. I'm really excited about it. You know, I have a couple of these cards I painted um, 20 years oh, ago sweet. in a hypnosis session. And I'm going to be teaching like you guys the script and the intuitive hypnosis. This is me floating in a cenote, which I've got a picture online doing. I've been hanging out in coconut trees. <laughs> right? I painted this 20 years ago, you guys. Wow. And I'm now doing this. Yeah. I'm now living this life. Another one I painted in the same thing was this hot guy and I were walking on the beach. <laughs> I don't have that one with me. <laughs> I was like, hmm, maybe I'll be creating that. <laughs> Who knows? And then, you know, this other one is, is, you know, this one's really, my shoulders are really big. So I was like going into my power, you know? Um, yeah. Cool. I don't know why I'm on again. Why am I on again? Who's the other Tamara with the orange screen? Um, anyways. The last thing on here says, um, my contacts, let me see. I feel strong, powerful, blah, 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 and then money, plenty of money. So we're working on that. Because I've gotten where I made almost a half a million dollars in a year. And then I stopped manifesting and stopped creating and went oh. into the flow. It cut in half. And I've maintained in half for the last three years. I still have plenty of money to travel and do what I want to do, but I want to buy some houses cash. <laughs> you know, I, I'm ready to have a $50,000 in my bank account all the time again. And yeah. so I'm going to start moving into that manifestations again and start really creating because take I've us been, with you. Yeah. I'm going to do, um, I think I'm going to do a mastermind. Good once a month mastermind where we really, really focus on creating what we desire because, <clears throat> you know, world peace, which has been my drive. Yeah. We should be at peace all the time. Yeah. But whatever we create is what we're going to create. And it's fun to create because I've been really bored, you guys. <laughs> I've just been so bored just, going with the flow. Yeah. I'm done just going with the flow. I'm ready to really create. I am the number one speaker in the world. Yes. Everybody wants to book me for their events. Yes. I help change millions of lives. 
make millions of dollars every year doing it. Yep. I have hundreds of rentals, properties, all over the world. I fly first class yeah. or even private jets. Nice. But wasn't that the timeline you didn't want? Yes, when we did the class. But if you remember, I did a webinar after that, Timelines and Parallel Universes. I brought it in at that time. And I've been integrating it <clears throat> and learning and changing. And, you know, this last couple of weeks hanging out with Vicky's taught me so much. He's no longer here. I put him on a bus. So. <laughs> oh, why did you do that? Because uh, we're done. <laughs> I've learned what I was supposed to learn. It's over. <laughs> oh, no. No interest of going back. No broken heart. You know what else I've learned? <clears throat> and I don't know how many times I've taught this to you guys, and I've talked about it. Somebody's riding through the mountains on a horse. Do, 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 do. And you take them off the horse and you put them behind a spaceship wheel and they're now flying the spaceship. What is going to happen to their consciousness? Right. They mm -hmm. won't be able to handle it. Right. That's what I was doing with this relationship. Yeah. You're talking about a shepherd that maintained cattle, rode horses, grew up in a family with 13 people in a room. A master, a complete master in his own right. But the ability to handle that shift wasn't there. He couldn't do it. He got scared. He said I was way too powerful. And he started to cry and said he wanted to go home. He said, my energy goes like this. He cried. You're too powerful. I'll go into this more in the Black Magic Puppet Master. But on my way here, I took an Uber here about four hours away from where we were. And I was looking for something in my purse. And I pulled out these four arrowheads from the ancient land where he's from. <clears throat> he was afraid I was going to attack him. He put him in my purse to protect him himself. <laughs> and he's always said, dog eat dog, you know, that I'm really, really powerful. And then he saw that I was so much more powerful than him. It scared the crap out of him. Hmm. It scared the crap out of him. I know whatever you put out there comes back. Do you really think I'm going to hurt somebody? Hell no. If I want to hurt somebody, I'm going to clear my energy why I want to hurt them. I'm not going to hurt them. Why would I do that? Because I know when you attack somebody, you attack yourself. Yeah. I'm all about peace, love, joy, and happiness, but I'm also about standing in my power. I'll send you love. Whatever you do with that love is up to you. You can go destroy yourself. I'm not interested. So anyways, <laughs> let's get going with class. I'm going to go ahead and stop and start this. And I forgot to turn on my lighting, but I've got my beautiful microphone here. How is this sounding? Is it sounding okay with me sitting back here? Is it plenty loud enough? Yeah, it's beautiful. Perfect. Okay. So um, let me stop and start, and then we'll get started. We're going to can clear all the belief systems about gravity and what we can and cannot do. <clears throat> and then we're also going to discreate labels and boxes. How does that serve anybody? Seriously. All right. So here we go. Go ahead and um, mute yourselves, you guys. I think, Patty, you're the only one unmuted right now. Let me go ahead and click this, and that we will okay. automatically mute everybody as they come in. Let me turn on the lighting.